T minus one hour, 23 minutes and counting. Beautiful shot right there of Launch Complex 39B with the SLS on the pad. Want to point your attention to a couple of things that uh, you see there on your screen. First of all, we got a beautiful sunrise coming up at 6.59 a.m. Eastern Time. You see it the uh, two-thirds up the way of the rocket there in the butterscotch-colored portion, the um, vapor trail that's coming off the rocket. That's uh, liquid oxygen venting. Down at the bottom of the rocket, venting liquid oxygen there as well. They're currently trying to troubleshoot an engine bleed. There's four RS-25 engines. The one that is uh, blocked by the one on the right is engine number three, and that's the one they're having trouble getting down to the proper ten temperature. These engines have to be conditioned before launch, and the way they condition them is they draw a bleed an engine bleed from both the liquid hydrogen and oxygen tanks. And the temperature range is a tight one. They recently reopened the vent bleed valve after closing it. They've done this twice. Um, just listening to the team and um, learning that that did not resolve the issue. You see the... Uh, Flare stack to the far left of your picture there. That is uh, hydrogen gas burning off. That's normal. That is, uh, that is, uh, if you're on the liquid uh, oxygen side, you have uh, the vent at the top of the rocket. But for the venting of the hydrogen, you have a flare stack. Hydrogen, obviously. Uh, a lot more concerning to have that build up in places you can't just release that into the atmosphere and so they burn it it has that color orange not because that's the color of hydrogen hydrogen when it burns is actually colorless but it's the impurities in the system that give it that orange flame that's a beautiful shot as well currently working these issues we're going to let you know what happens it's very active time with the team we have a uh, big launch broadcast plan for you we're currently putting that on hold for the moment, letting the team work. We'll continue with operational commentary for the moment. This is Artemis Launch Control.